Welcome to How To, a quality digest series for quality control and quality assurance specialists who need quick instruction on how to get something done. This episode is sponsored by Minitoyo. This is an interesting episode. Uh, in this one, Craig is going to show us how to measure parallelism and flatness on a micrometer anvil and spindle, right? Right, using optical methods. We're, go we're going to be using an optical flat, which is optically very flat, usually within one or two millionths. This is two-sided. It's optically flat on this side, it's optically flat on the back end, and further, this is an optical parallel. These two surfaces are parallel to each other. So we're going to be applying the flat to the anvil, then to the spindle, then we're going to contact each other, and we're going to measure the parallelism. Now, optical flats work by way of light bands, interferometer light bands, and they have a curvature as the surface gets a little bit rougher. It's the curvature of the bands that's what we're concerned with, not the quantity for flatness. Each band that would cross over a line drawn between the start and the stop of one is about 12 millionths, actually 11.6 millionths. Okay. And we'll be able to see that when we, when we get to uh, uh, our, our gauge cam here. We will. Now, these surfaces of Mitte Toyo, they, they have an excellent surface finish on their micrometers. They usually exhibit very little flatness, but the ones out in the shop can be pretty, pretty coarse. Okay, well, let's take a look. All right, so I have put the optical flat down on the anvil, and you can see a series of about four different light bands. They're just about perfectly straight. There's no curvature. Had this been a, had the anvil been not flat, you'd see all kinds of different curves in them, and you would count from the start of the one band to the end of that same band with the straight line, count how many bands pass over. I'm not sure I, I follow what you mean. Um, from, from what line to what line again? All right, this is what the light bands would look like on a micrometer that the anvil or spindle were worn. You'd see a series of curved lines. It's not the quantity of lines. Again, we set it up for three or four. It's if you drew a perfectly straight line between the start of a band and followed it around the same band where it ended, if you drew a straight line right across them, I'll do this the best I can, it's how many pass through it. So in this case, we started with this one, one band passed through it, that's 12 millionths, a second band passed through it, so now we're up to 24, and not quite a half, 24 and 6 would be 30. Most micrometers are allowed on 0 to 1 inch 50, 50 millionths of an inch. Okay. In this case, it'd be 24 millionths, or 24 plus 6 would be about 30 millionths. Now we can set up and show you with the Mitsutoyo micrometer what we actually find on this one. So here's a Mitsutoyo micrometer with, a, they have an excellent finish on theirs. You can see I've only got two, two bands on here, but they're straight as an arrow. There's no curvature whatsoever. Each line of curvature is 12 millionths. We would call this less than 12. I'll see if I can get it to open up just a little bit. No, wasn't able to do that. So this one we would call less than 12. We're gonna do that on both the anvil then we'd flip it over and do the spindle. Then to actually check parallelism with this, we would clamp the two faces together, and now we would count the bands. If there were two bands on one side and one band on the other side, it's the difference between them. Two minus one is one, so it would be a 12 millionths parallelism. Say we had four lines on one side and one line on the other, the difference is three lines, each one's 12 millionths. So now you have 36 millionths parallelism. The okay, micrometers so are called out for both flatness and parallelism. They have a spec. So uh, just, to, just to recap so I understand. So when you're measuring the flatness, you're, count, you're looking at the, the curvature, curvature. Not and, the quantity. And, and how many curves a straight line would cross over. And then when you're looking at parallelism, you count the number of lines on each surface and the difference between them. Is how out of parallel it is. Got it. Sometimes the lines aren't flat. On some, they, they turn totally round if it's concave or convex, not just worn. Again, you would have so many lines on one and so many lines on the other, the difference between them, and each one is 12 million. So say you had four on one, one on the other, that's three. Then again, you have 36. Okay, all right, I, even I understand that. 
Uh, well, thanks, Craig, for showing us how to measure flatness and parallelism on a, using an optical flat on a micrometer. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the first thing that you do when you uh, before you calibrate. Before, before you do we the rest calibrate. Of it, right? Okay. All right. Uh, thanks again to Mitotoyo for sponsoring this episode and for supplying the optical flat as well as the micrometer. Thanks to all of you for joining us, and we'll see you at the next How To. As the world's largest provider of measurement and inspection solutions, Mitotoyo America Corporation offers a complete selection of machines, sensors, systems, and services with a line encompassing CMMs, vision, form, precision tools and instruments, and metrology data management software. Mitotoyo's nationwide network of metrology centers provides application, calibration, service, repair, and educational programs.